Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, dear students around the world. Welcome to your new English YouTube channel and classes, English course level 1, A1, lesson 46. In today's lesson, we are going to practice more do you, do they, does he, does she. So today's lesson is a little bit different from the previous lessons. Let's see. Practice asking questions. So the rule is do you, do they, does he, does she. So try to ask questions using these pronouns we do and does to improve your English. Let's go to the next slide. Listening. So in this group, we are going to use the verb listen. Some students pronounce it listen. Now the T is silent. So it is pronounced listen. So the first question, do you listen to English music? Do you listen to English music? The second question, does he listen to the news on the radio? The third question, do they listen to their mother? The last question, does she listen to her father? Let's repeat after me. The first word is listening. The noun, listening. The verb, listen. Do you listen to English music? Does he listen to the news on the radio? Does, uh, do they listen to their mother? Does she listen to her father? Let's go to the next slide. Does Susanna listen to her mind? Does Martin listen to his heart? Do they listen to themselves? Do you listen to your soul? So we put does because we have Susanna or she. We put does in the second example because we have Martin or he. So let's repeat after me these examples. Does Susanna listen to her mind? Does Martin listen to his heart? Do they listen to themselves? Do you listen to your soul? Let's go to the next slide. In the next slide, we have languages. We are going to practice the verb speak. Do you speak Arabic? Do they speak Russian? Russian is the language of Russia. Does he speak French? Does she speak English? Do you speak German? Let's repeat after me. Do you speak Arabic? Do they speak Russian? Does he speak French? Does she speak English? Do you speak German? Let's continue. Do they speak Turkish? Turkish is the language of Turkey. Does she speak Japanese? Does he speak Chinese? Do you speak Spanish? Do they speak Italian? Let's repeat after me. Do they speak Turkish? Does she speak Japanese? Does he speak Chinese? Do you speak Spanish? Do they speak Italian? Let's go to the next slide. In this slide we have food. The verb we are going to practice is eat. Do you eat vegetables? Do they eat meat? Does she eat chicken? Does he eat rice? Do you eat fish? Let's repeat after me. Do you eat vegetables? Do they eat meat? Does she eat chicken? 
Does he eat rice? Do you eat fish? Let's continue. Does Tom eat salad? Does Sonia eat fruit? Do you eat noodles? Do they eat sweets? Does your brother eat eggs? Eggs. Let's repeat after me. Does Tom eat salad? Does Sonia eat fruit? Do you eat noodles? Do they eat sweets? Does your brother eat eggs? Let's continue. Does your father eat chips? Do you eat bread? Do they eat cheese? Does she eat jam? Does he eat yogurt? Let's repeat after me. Does your father eat chips? Do you eat bread? Do they eat cheese? Does she eat jam? Does he eat yogurt? Let's continue. We continue with the verb eat. Does he eat barbecue? Does she eat grills? So barbecue and grills is the meat we make outside the house. For example, in the mountain, in the forest. And we cook it outside. So we call it barbecue and grills. Do they eat Italian food? Does Peter eat Arabic food? Does Rania eat seafood? Let's repeat after me. Does he eat barbecue? Does she eat grills? Do they eat Italian food? Does Peter eat Arabic food? Does Rania eat seafood? Let's continue. Possessions, it means the things we have. From the verb to possess. Does she have a home? Does he have a phone? Do you have a mobile? Do they have a car? Do you have a watch? Let's practice with me verb have. So the first example. Does she have a home? Does he have a phone? Do you have a mobile? Do they have a car? Do you have a watch? Let's continue. More examples we'd have. Does Bob have a computer? Does Nina have breakfast? Do you have lunch? Do they have dinner? Do you have a business? Does Linda have money? Let's repeat after me. Does Bob have a computer? Does Nina have breakfast? Do you have lunch? Do they have dinner? Do you have a business? Does Linda have money? Let's continue. Sports, we are going to practice verb play. Do you play football? Does he play ping pong? Does she play basketball? Do they play handball? Does your mother play tennis? Let's repeat after me. Do you play football? Does he play ping pong? Does she play basketball? Do they play handball? Does your mother play tennis? So in the second example, we don't say ping pong. So ping pong, ping pong. Let's continue. Do they play volleyball? Do you play table tennis? Does Lisa play badminton? Does Richard play squash? Squash is tennis inside the room. Do you play rugby? Let's repeat after me. Do they play volleyball? Do you play tennis, table tennis? Does Lisa play badminton? Does she, does Richard play squash? Do you play rugby? Let's continue. Now we are going to use musical instruments. With musical instruments, we use the verb play. Does your father play the piano? Do you play the guitar? Does your sister play the bass drum? Do they play the snare drum? Does Henry play the flute? 
Let's repeat after me. Does your father play the piano? Do you play the guitar? Does your sister play the bass drum? Do they play the snare drum? Does Henry play the flute? Let's go to the next slide. Does John play the lute? Does your teacher play the clarinet? Do you play the French horn? Does she play the violin? Does he play the saxophone? Let's repeat after me. Does John play the lute? Does your teacher play the clarinet? Do you play the French horn? Does she play the violin? Does he play the saxophone? Let's continue. Now we are going to practice verb that you, uh, we use for drinks. Do you drink coffee? Does he drink juice? Does your cat drink milk? Does she drink tea? Let's repeat after me. Do you drink coffee? Does he drink juice? Does your cat drink milk? Does she drink tea? Let's go to the next slide. Do you drink fizzy water? Do you drink sparkling water? So fizzy water and sparkling water is water with gas. Do you drink soft drinks? Soft drinks like Coca-Cola, Fanta, Pepsi, 7-Up. Do you drink wine? Do you drink beer? Do you drink whiskey? Let's repeat after me. Do you drink fizzy water? Do you drink sparkling water? Do you drink soft drinks? Do you drink wine? Do you drink beer? Do you drink whiskey? So these are drinks. We need to know the names of these drinks. Let's continue. Does your dog drink water? Do you drink cola? Does she drink Pepsi? Do they drink cocktail? So cocktail is wine with juice, uh, lemon juice, uh, apple juice, banana juice, etc. Let's repeat after me. Does your, does your dog drink water? Do you drink cola? Does she drink Pepsi? Do they drink cocktail? Like. So we are going to practice verb like. But uh, with verb like, we are going to say that verb like is different from the other verbs. Why? Because with like, the verb that comes after like has two cases. We can use the verb with to or with ing. In this lesson, we are going to practice verb with ing. So the first example, do you like watching TV? We can say also, do you like to watch TV? But in this lesson, we are going to practice the better version is verb plus ing. Do you like watching TV? Does Anna like swimming? Does George like listening to music? Do they like skiing? So the last verb is pronounced skiing, not skying, skiing. Let's repeat after me. Do you like watching TV? Does Anna like swimming? Does George like listening to music? Do they like skiing? Let's go to the next slide. More examples with like. Do you like skating? Do they like playing games? Does your mom like walking? It's not walking. Walking. L silent and the A is O. Walking. Does your dad like running? Do you like jogging? Jogging is... Uh, slow running, slow running. Let's repeat after me all these examples. Do you like skating? Do they like playing games? Does your mom like walking? Does your dad like running? Do you like jogging? Let's go to the next slide. More examples we'd like. Does your dog like jumping? Does your wife like cooking? 
Do you like driving? Does he like sleeping? Do you like shouting? Let's repeat after me. Does your dog like jumping? Does your wife like cooking? Do you like driving? Does he like sleeping? Do you like shouting? Let's go to the next slide. More examples. Does Robert like going to the zoo? Does Nancy like going to the cinema? Do you like going to the mountains? Do they like going to the beach? Do you like going to the stadium? Let's repeat after me these examples. Does Robert like going to the zoo? Does Nancy like going to the cinema? Do you like going to the mountains? Do they like going to the beach? Do you like going to the stadium? Let's go to the next slide. Number nine, we have reading. We are going to practice verb read. Does Elisa read mystery books? Do you read the newspaper? Does your friend read books? Do you read magazines? Let's repeat after me. Does Elisa read mystery stories? Do you read the newspaper? Does your friend read books? Do you read magazines? Let's continue. Do they read letters? Do you read messages? Does your boss read emails? Does he read minds? Do you read novels? Let's repeat after me. Do they read letters? Do you read messages? Does your boss read emails? Does he read minds? Do you read novels? Let's continue. This is the last uh, group of examples. So using going, the verb go. Does she go shopping? Do they go to the malls? Does Eunice go to the cinema? Do you go to festivals? Does Karima go to weddings? Do you go to Madrid? Let's repeat after me these examples. Does she go to a shopping? Do they go to the malls? Does Eunice go to the cinema? Do you go to festivals? Does Karima go to weddings? Do you go to Madrid? Let's go to the last slide. In this slide, we have also, when we have go plus sports, so the sports take ing. Does she go swimming? Do you go surfing? Do they go windsurfing? Does your husband does your husband go diving? Do you go sailing? Do they go sunbathing? Let's repeat after me. Does she go swimming? Do you go surfing? Do they go windsurfing? Does your husband go diving? Do you go sailing? Do they go sunbathing? Until then, see you soon on our two YouTube channels, House School Hassan HSH, English with Arabic Translation, and House College Hassan HCH, Just English, in Lesson 47. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like if you like the video and the content, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and activate the bell to get new videos. Thank you. Goodbye.